Hi, my name is Hong Sen. I'm an IT trainer at Guide Dogs Singapore. Today, I'll be showing you how you can use different finger gestures to operate your Android phone or tablet with TalkBack. Using your fingers, these gestures allow you to navigate through items on screen, scroll, and activating items on the screen. We will be taking a look at three different gestures today, mainly one finger swipe left or right, two finger scroll, and double tap. Over here, we have a Google Pixel 6, which we will be demonstrating on today. Before we start on our finger gestures, let's enable TalkBack. The universal way to enable TalkBack would be to hold down the volume up and down buttons for about two to five seconds. And you should hear a notification tone along with haptic feedback. TalkBack on, home, Monday, November 28th. So now we have TalkBack enabled. On some devices, you might have to repeat that gesture a second time for TalkBack to be enabled. However, if this gesture does not work, you might need to get sighted assistance to enable TalkBack. Go to your phone's settings, accessibility, and you should see an option called TalkBack. Tap on that and tap on the switch to have TalkBack enabled. Now that we have TalkBack enabled, let's get started on our finger gestures. Now, before we start talking about finger gestures, TalkBack has a feature called Explore by Touch. What it does is it reads out what is underneath your finger as you explore the screen with one finger. Phone, home, net home, actions available, use tap with three, Chrome. If we move our finger up to the top left of the phone where the notification bar is, we will hear TalkBack reading our time. 5.37 p.m. Window. Moving right of the notification bar, we will hear our battery level. Battery 64%. And this is our phone's current battery level. Let us now move on to our first gesture, swiping left or right with one finger to navigate through items on screen. To perform a swipe right, simply use one finger to quickly flick right on screen. Let's give that a try. Messages. Let's try that again. We will now perform a swipe right by quickly flicking our finger right on screen with one finger. Chrome. And we have now moved on to the next app on screen. We have now learned how to move to the next item. But how do you move back? To do so, quickly flick your finger left with one finger on the screen. Let's give that a try. Messages. Now we have moved back to the previous item on screen. Let's try that again. Phone. And we are back on the first app that we started on previously. Let's now move on to our next gesture, the scroll gesture. You may want to perform a scroll gesture to move to a different page on screen or to review more information. To do so, use two fingers to swipe left, right, up or down on the screen. For instance, if I would like to move to the next page on my home screen, I will now perform a two finger swipe from right to left on screen. Home. Home screen 2 of 2. Now, to move back to our previous page, I will perform a reverse gesture, swiping with two fingers from left to right on the screen. Home screen 1 of 2. You can also perform a scroll up or down in certain scenarios to review more information. For instance, if I were to do a two finger scroll up now by sliding two fingers from the bottom edge of the phone up, we will see a list of apps. App suggestions. Search your phone and more. Edit box. To scroll up or down through this list, we can perform the same gesture of swiping up with two fingers. Home. 
to move down this list of apps. To move back up through this list of apps, we will perform the reverse gesture of using two fingers to swipe down. App suggestions. And now we are at the top of this list of apps. The last gesture we'll be looking at today is a double tap gesture. The double tap gestures allows you to activate the current item in focus with talkback. To perform this gesture, use one finger to quickly tap twice on the screen. Let's give this a try. We will first find an icon of an app that we would like to open. Phone, window home. Double tap to activate. Now let's give that gesture a try. Quickly tap twice on the screen with one finger. Phone, folder, head. We now have our phone app open. Let's give that gesture a try again. We shall now look for the keypad option to open the keypad to dial a number. Keypad, button, out of list. Double tap to activate. Selected, edit box. And we have successfully opened our dial pad. These are the three main gestures we have covered today. One finger swipe left and right, two finger scroll, and activating item with a double tap. Once again, my name is Hong Sen, and we will meet again next time. If you would like to learn more about operating your phone, you can contact our IT trainers at Guide Dog Singapore by calling us at 6339 7900 or emailing us at it at guidedocs.org.sg